Um, should I turn off the lighting? Natural light. Yes, yes. We love a natural queen. Um, so I just want to start by saying. I'll start by saying um i already made this video but um it was like i wasn't really prepared i'm still not prepared but like you know i know more but like what i should talk about because like la like the last video i missed a lot of points and it turned into more of like a college advice type video that ran on for like 40 minutes so i was like you know let's make two separate videos a dorm tour and then like maybe a story time if this video doesn't if the dorm tour doesn't take too long and um yeah so that's what you're gonna do today so um am i missing something oh yeah my name's joy i'm going to augusta university if it's not in the title already majoring in biology pre-med trying to be a surgeon <laughs> okay so i'm gonna act like you just walk in through the door because the door is right there so you know uh, step into it um that's my roommate's weather and stuff so we have like a private suite i'm talking quite i'm not sure if she's in here i don't think she's though but um we have a private suite where basically um so yeah, this is like a little mini living room. Like, so she has her own room, I have my own room. We don't share it with anyone else. Here's our bathroom, our sink. We've been here for like almost three weeks now, like two and a half weeks. Bathroom, toilet. I'm not sure shit. Um, shower, she bought the shower curtain about four times. And plunger, little scrubby scrubby. So yeah, those aren't provided. You have to buy my bathroom slippers. Mm. Now, walking into my room. Okay, so here is where, like, this is how I organize my room. So here's where I put my shower cap. Here's my towel, and here's my bathroom that I haven't used so far. Here is my closet with some extra towels and like beach towels and stuff like that up there. Those towels, I'm not, I haven't really found a use for them yet. I know one of them is like, I use one of them already to like just clean around and stuff like the um, mirror and things like that. Um, then this bag right here, oh my gosh, this bag looks so bad. <laughs> that bag right there, the pink bag, it's, oh, well, there's two pink, anyways, the brand pink bag. It has like nail polish, perfumes, um, just a bunch of like, um, like cotton swabs, cotton balls. There's a bunch of like, I guess, beauty supplies and stuff like that. Um, that pink bag in the back is my wig bag. <laughs> so it has, I think, like, three or four wigs in there that, like, if I just want to change it up. You know, I just took my wig off. In the other video, you'll see the wig I was wearing before, but I literally just took it off yesterday. And, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm not used to this. Um, and then extra comforter, pillow, um, clothes, like, my lab coat's all the way in the back, which, okay, I, I did dual enrollment, so I already had lab classes, so I already knew I'd have to bring stuff for lab, like a lab coat, and goggles, and, oh, I didn't know, actually, that you had to buy your own gloves, some stories, but, like, yeah, if you're majoring in a science class, especially, and you know you're gonna have a lab, try and buy it, like, before you get, because I know a lot of people are complaining about buying from the bookstore, because you, when you get to college and start your class, you need immediately, you don't have time to be waiting on Amazon and stuff like that, or to wait for your parents to bring it to you and things like that, so try and buy it ahead of time, because, like, the bookstore is so expensive, like, someone was complaining, they spent, like, $100 on the lab coat, but that was two years ago, so I don't know if things change, but I haven't seen it yet, so, because I didn't need to buy it, but yeah, advice, and then, um, yeah, it's organized from jackets and stuff to like s s short sleeves and then bras and stuff. Here's my shower caddy. Okay, I know this whole thing's like a mess, but like this is the best I can organize it at the moment. Okay, I don't have a lot of room for stuff, but yeah, toothbrush and everything. And like, oh, my pants and dresses are down there. That's my, I don't want to show the stuff in there, but that's my um dirty clothes bin and stuff like that. Then I have a bunch of shoes, an extra suitcase for whatever reason. Some more shoes under there, and then like hats and stuff, and then my purses ah, back here, all of them. And then like right under, like under all these clothes, and like a big pot. It's like my home clothes to wear inside the dorm, or like if I'm walking to go do laundry and stuff, or just to go eat dinner. So like here's like short sleeves, and then I mean like shirts, and then shorts over there. And here's my bed. So our beds, like most of them, are twin XL. So that's the kind of like comforter and mattress pad I got. 
Another key note, make sure you get a mattress pad because I sleep like a baby because I have one, but I know a lot of people don't have one and they complain that it feels like a prison bed. I didn't think it made that much of a difference. Honestly, I don't feel it. But um, yeah, make sure you get a mattress pad. Dun, dun, dun. And so yeah, twin XL. The only thing that's queen is my comforter because I like to, like I'll go inside right here and I like to wrap myself around. So like even with that comforter, I made sure to get like, I got a proper size like, you know fitted sheet and everything but my comforter it's queen size and then i have my dollies that i sleep with my sister bought me this when i came here and then this is my daddy that someone won for me pillow i did a pillow rosary i got to stay blessed um and then i like this little carpet thing i don't know i think it's cute and there's a piece of paper on it. what is that oh i got food yesterday it's wrecked. Anyways, I was like one zero zero six or something. Under here, soda, water, toilet paper, paper towels. That okay. Top that bag. Why is it? In there? Anyways, I'll fix that later. That top bag, plastic bag, is just a bag full of wires and cords and stuff. Snacks, snacks, cleaning supplies, and that third one. I bought that. This from Walmart. Um, this isn't what originally was here. I mean, like, cause there was something else like this that was under here, but I moved it and connected it to my desk, which I'll show you later, to make my desk longer. And I have cereal, I have sushi rice, cause I like sushi, seaweed, again, sushi, great. Um, I have chips, like bowls, plastic bowls, paper plates, disposables are really coming clutch, cause right now I don't have like a dish scrubby thingy and i don't want to use the one that like everyone uses because that's gross to me so i'm waiting for my parents to bring me some so that's why i like those cans they're cans of fruit because i wasn't sure if i'd be able to get fruit here and i bought a blender so i can make smoothies and stuff but i haven't been able to use it because i don't have a scrub to clean it out so there's no point sardines i'm african Ver necessities okay i'm nigerian to be exact and then um that's just a cup again I haven't used because you clean that's african food like i think that's which one's that one it, oh it's um bean powder and then pop sodas again water yada 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 and then i have a microwave right here it's cute and red and then i have a fridge a freezer and a fridge i got both of them and then again smoothie this is why am I acting like that? Bro, I swear I can't ever like just get my words out. This is bread, y'all. Bread. Um, the fan that gave us a Roar Camp, which I think I explained Roar Camp already in the other video. So I'm not about to explain it again because it was awful. Pedialyte, my fan that fell off my desk because my desk is cluttered. And I hate it so much because it's so messy looking. But um, yeah, so I don't know. I like I keep looking on amazon to try and find something to organize it but like an organizer like this it just takes up space too and i want like a free desk but i don't know where to put all this other stuff like because these are things that i like use pretty much daily except for my makeup honestly the only thing i've been doing is putting on lashes so i don't know why i have it to be honest i might just have my parents take it i don't know contact oh i just bought that stuff so i need to drink them Laptop, goggles, everything's just a mess. Like, I really don't have anywhere to store my stuff. Like, my textbooks and like, all my books are just under there. So, every under the desk. So, every morning, I just, like, trade them in for which one I need for that morning and stuff like that. Under, oh, this is what was pretty much under the bed that I moved over to make my desk longer. And so, you know what I should have done? I should have not moved that because I moved as soon as I got in here because I need more I knew I needed more space but I should have tried to fit everything on the original desk move that so that it at least look free because I would have figured out how to put everything else and so that place probably wouldn't be as cluttered I don't know that's just that's just how I reason <laughs> but um here's some seasoning some more bowls or no cups tomato paste there's like makeup wipes this is just like etc drawer honestly the only disposables cannot fall out <laughs> oh my gosh um mac and cheese oil powdered milk um i really felt as if i was going camping and they wouldn't provide anything for us so you know gotta be shreddy and then the drawers this first drawer is like underwear and socks that one's my medicine drawer and then that under this one under here is um like hair supplies and extra soaps and things like that deodorant laundry detergent there's bleach on the back there and then like bleach wipes back there too i actually don't remember what's in this bag oh it's just extra plastic bags from walmart just in case i guess um yeah honestly that's it 
<laughs> what else did it show y'all? I'm not showing y'all inside my fridge and freezer because y'all don't know that. Y'all don't know because I can't talk. Y'all don't even know what I eat. It's just regular food like macaroni and stuff, but whatever. I can't be bothered. <clears throat> focus, please. Can you focus? Um, yeah, so this is. Oh, this box is just like what my textbooks came in, and I just haven't really. I don't really know where to put it. Like, I'm like, should I put it just in the trash thingy? But I'm like, it's a really big box. I don't know. I'm so confused. And then my book bag. Keys. Oh, slippers. I didn't show you. Look how cute they are. I don't know. I find these to be really adorable. <laughs> and okay, yeah, I just got back from class because Monday, Wednesdays, I only have one class in the morning. So it's like 9 to 9.50. So I'm free the rest of the day. But this girl wants to, like my friend, she wants to take pictures. And she's come back at like 2.30 to 5. Oh, bro, time. And she wants to take pictures. And I can't be bothered to take all this off. It was just eyelashes, really. But I can't be bothered to take it off. And then take my clothes off and then put it back on and stuff. I don't know. So I'm just going to stay up till then, I guess. Because I want to snap. But I guess this forces me to study. Oh, yeah, my anime poster, y'all. Ain't it a doll? Alright, so the video is going on about like eight or nine minutes ish. So I'm gonna just do a quick little story time. I should have set up the camera first before I started filming again, but whatever. <laughs> That's gonna just be my coffee thing jumping in the bed. But, um, yeah, so story time. Um, oh, let's tell you about the time I fell into the lake and work here. Okay, one, number one. I can't swim not like oh I can doggy paddle you know survive I can't swim I've never tried I don't know how to swim it's up to here I'm gone like once that water hits my throat it's like bro I already feel like I'm suffocating like the water suffocating me so I gotta go so I stand like three feet four feet I'm like five seven five eight so maybe five feet but um no, never been higher never no I can't swim and so we went to like this camp camp thing and war camp where there was like kayaking and all this stuff so that's what I did kayak because you know I can't swim why wouldn't I want to go into a lake I wasn't thinking it was like I don't know I just I wanted to do it you know I, I watch Total Drama Island I want to be about that life you feel me but um also I wasn't thinking like a lake oh it's deep you know I was thinking maybe like I was thinking it was more like a stream or a river I think that's what my mindset was because now I'm thinking about it, I was like you know you can't swim you were telling the people you're going you can't swim why did you do it but um yeah so I went kayaking that was the first thing I did it bolted over there um and so yeah I had my group who we were all gonna go kayaking and so like third girls and like because we had to go in like rotations because there was enough boats and stuff for everybody who was there so those are also other stuff but we we're like a big freshman class so there was like archery and zip lining something like that I can't remember there was like painting and stuff inside they had a bunch of different stuff but um yeah so but we're still a big group so they didn't have enough boats and things like that uh, unless you want to go canoeing or not sorry not canoeing um the one you do by yourself is that kayaking or is that canoeing i don't know we did the one that was like three or two people and then you can do one with only one people who like only you only one person was bold enough to do that and he didn't fall at all i'm gonna get back to him later his name we call him tarzan tarzan black tarzan yes sir um he was only bold enough to do it but um so yeah and then um we got and so it was me and my group we were waiting our turn third girls in like the third yeah, the, the third boat that went into the water, they tipped over in the middle, and this girl, like, they, this girl started having like, a panic attack, or, and she was like yelling for her and Aiden Hala and stuff like that, and she, like, she started swimming, like, because every the other two girls, they just stayed on top of the boat and waited for the lifeguard to do something, but she started like swimming, trying to get to shore, because they were literally in the middle of the lake, they, that's when they tipped over, in the middle of the lake, and like, she's getting to the shore, and I'm like, okay, she just wants to swim, and all of a sudden, she stops, like okay so she's in the middle she gets to like right here here's the short she stops in the middle of the middle <laughs> like, i don't know if that makes sense she stops right there and like you just see her like fall towards her back and it's like as if she's try trying to like blow on water except the water is covering like her face right there so literally all you see is this girl's like just top of her face and that's when the lifeguard's like you know what? let me get out of this boat and help because this girl like she just she stops screaming and stuff like that like it's just like she's just silent she's just like there so she then she starts screaming again and for her inhaler and things like that 
and the lifeguard gets out and it, she drops her phone in the process like she drops her phone in the because she forgot she had it in her pocket i guess she wasn't thinking she'd have to save people who do, never did this before but like and oh my gosh they didn't even explain anything to us because they were just like i guess maybe they were stressed about how many people there was but i'm sure y'all dealt with like camp like people coming in like that before they didn't explain anything to anyone until they got onto uh, well, actually no until that happened until that incident happened that's when they told us like taught us how to actually row and how we're not supposed to move this and this they didn't tell us that they were just folks trying to get us all in the water and take like bring us all back so it was kind of y'all fault <laughs> that that happened and so they were like had to do that and then when that was over a lot of people got spooked and so some people left i still want to do it girl i like hiked all the way over there was the hiking thing too like it's like archery hiking all that stuff uh, if i if i wanted to hike i would have gone in the hiking tour i hiked all the way over there i'm gonna do it by force of my fire i don't care i hiked all the way over there so i was still gassed to do it but like one girl in her group she did not want to do it anymore she did not but um we still went on it she still like agreed to go on it and i didn't realize how much she didn't want to go on it till we were on it because when we got on she like we pulled out just a little bit and started rowing and um she started freaking out and like you know if you're freaking out because you don't want to tip over the boat maybe not move so much because she started like shaking the boat like get me out get me out get me out she's yelling and the lifeguards are like okay stay calm because we're we're, we're we're pretty close to shore so we're almost there she's like no get me out now we can't get you out now because we're not sure yet but she's like no and so she's shaking the boat and i'm like okay calm down please because i'm not trying to tip over because we're near shore but i can still drown <laughs> so i'm like calm because then I don't know why they freak out they could both swim I was little I was the calmest one and I'm the one who can't swim but anyways that was that oh my gosh now that I'm thinking about it, literally if that boat flipped over I would have died what the heck what is wrong with me because I'm okay but like anyway so yeah we get back get back to shore me and the other girls still want to do it but we need one more person and so black Tarzan comes through and it's like I slick when he came I was like I don't want him because he's gonna be acting like he knows he'll do everything and just be like being too like you know quick with it and i need like slow movements and stuff the girl in the middle like um she didn't want to do anything so we're like okay fine i'll paddle and he'll paddle and it, it worked fine like we were in sync i wasn't scared at all i don't know why but i wasn't scared at all and i was just even when she was freaking out i was like calm down but i was just i don't know if maybe that's like my own like fear mechanic but i was lying i'm lying <laughs> laughing like i was dying and nothing was funny about the situation <laughs> but i could not stop laughing i don't know maybe that's like my defense mechanism i don't know but so like the whole time i'm on the water i don't know if maybe it's because um like again defense mechanism because i was laughing and then i learned not to laugh real quick because the boat started shaking every time i laughed so i was like you know let me stop <laughs> real quick <laughs> and so like we get to like the middle of the um, lake and then we go over there and we're going and stuff and like when we're all the way like the town that's when like my nerves get the best of me and i was like you know what i don't want to do this anymore <laughs> and so i'm like um tarzan can we go back <laughs> and so they, he agrees and like the other girl's like yeah yeah let's go back and so we start getting back and like as we're going back i'm slowly i'm seeing how slow shore is coming and i start freaking out in my head though but i'm just like <laughs> trying to row faster because i'm like i want to go <laughs> i don't want to be here anymore we make it to shore okay so like the shore is like right there and so like you have to like push the boat onto the shore to get everyone out without them falling into the water because we're still over the water we get to the shore not pulled in we're still over the lake and stuff but we get to the shore the shore is like right here and stuff like that so black tar because we were they're supposed to be waiting for um what's it called the lifeguards and stuff to come and get us so that they know how to do it properly black Tarzan's like oh no i've done this before like because he just been kind to do something once so he thinks he knows everything and so he brings the boat like he pulls the boat and he um like he gets out well first he gets out of the boat and he's like and we're like no wait hold on um let's wait for the lifeguards and stuff like that to get us out like oh no i've got this like, he pulls the boat tries to get the girl in the middle it, the boat immediately flips over <laughs> i was so pissed <laughs> i made it all the way to the shore just for this boat to flip over like i was so i was so mad i was like are you serious right now and so like this the girl in the middle she like flipped over on her back well we both did like on our back but i got up quickly but like she stayed on it like on her back and everything and had her feet in there because she, she was wearing yeezys and so they were trying to pick her up and she's like no take my shoes off first like y'all don't understand this was the funniest thing i wish i got this on recording she's literally just like this like i don't want to say cockroach because that sounds mean but that's what it looked like she's like this and so um 
she was like, they were like, no, like, give me your hand. She's like, no, take my shoes off first. She refused to get up until someone took her Yeezys off her feet because she didn't want to get them wet. I was like, are you serious? So this girl was literally just lying in this, like, arguing with this lifeguard about <laughs> some damn shoes. And she's like, they had to take her shoes off because she was not moving. <laughs> I hate, I hate it here. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. And then, um, yeah, and so I was, I, I, I was wet, but, bro, you know what? Before we went, something was telling me to bring a change of clothes because I knew I'd be kind like, I knew water would probably splash me, but I didn't. Why? Cause I'm, I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. But, um, yeah, so like, I brought, what I did was I brought a little towel, you know how all those extra towels I just showed you? I brought a mini one, I have a mini towel, like blue one, I brought that, and I brought a jacket, that was just because it was really cold in the morning, because we had to wake up at 6 a.m., or no, be there at 6 a.m., what am I talking about? Well, for like 5, but um, yeah, so I brought a little towel, so, and that did, that did crap, <laughs> because like, I'm soaked, my shirt's soaked, my pants are all soaked, and like, so the, the, the little towel I brought, just, I was wringing it out at that point because it was just too much water so um what i did was i had to change i had good thing i had a sports bra so i just took my shirt off and then put a jacket on top with a jacket on top so it made me feel somewhat better but it was really really hot <laughs> so but the only good thing is that i didn't i didn't have bug spray which is the thing i need to tell my parents to bring so remind yourself joy you need bug spray so there's gnats and every some mosquitoes everywhere here. So yeah, I covered up my skin so I didn't get bug bites. Thank Jesus, because I was except for all my legs. But yeah. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then we saw him again. And like she she was the girl in the middle, she was going off and stuff. And I I looked and I wasn't mad anymore because like I don't know, it was just even one thing about now, it's like a really funny story. I wasn't like super mad like when it happened. I was just like, all right. I was more mad about the fact that I got to shore and then flipped over. Like, couldn't I have done it in the lake? In the middle of the lake, let it be a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> if I want to tell the story to you. But anyways, so like I looked at him and I was like, what did I say? I was like, look at me. Like, or like, I was like, I think I told him I'm mad. Like, um, because I was wearing the jacket. I look at me. I'm so hot right now. And, and he looked at me. He said, yeah, you are hot. And then, like, I didn't, so I, like, just laughed. Because, like, if I don't understand something, I'll just laugh and think about it later, like, as I'm walking off. Because it was, like, more of a drive-by conversation. And so I just laughed. And then the people, who, like, my group and everything, they just stepped in, like, wait, did he just shoot his shot? And that's when I processed through, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. Because it probably seemed rude, too, because I just started walking off after I giggled and stuff like that. But, um, and so then they started making fun of me saying, like, they should, <laughs> the girl, but she was like, she should beat my ass in his. Because she was like, he did all that just so he could say, because he, like, when the boat flipped over, he immediately went to me to try to lift me up out the water. And so she's like, wow, so this is why that's all happened. And so now we have a new <laughs> reason. I don't know. It was really funny, though. It was, it, it was funny. Like, thinking back at it, it was really funny. And I but I couldn't do like a lot of things I wanted to do. Well, I mean, I did archery, but I was just so uncomfortable because I was wet and I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of being unnecessarily wet. It's just ugh, everything sticking to your skin is gross to me. So yeah, that's a little story for you too. I was gonna tell a story time about like um my awful roommate, but I might save that for later because this video is going on a well, it's only 12 minutes. Do I have another story? Look at that. I'm just talking about it, it's gonna piss me off, honestly. You know what? No, I'm not even gonna go there because I, <laughs> no, no, man, we're not about to do that. So, oh, yeah, so it, I already discovered what my outro is gonna be. Hopefully, this was what did I do? It was like, bye, y'all. Face <laughs> it. No, I'm for a bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, I have not been promoting myself. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at iGoldTouch, wherever it's gonna be. I don't know. No, no, I want it here. I gold touch joy that's with two eyes I gold dot period period joy J O Y Y T <laughs> and then on Snapchat I think it's I joy O one something like that and then I don't think I have anything else so yeah those two I need to make a Twitter but that should be a video on its own because I don't know how to use it so oh too close I don't know how to use it so sorry the camera angle is weird because my bed there we go I don't know how to use it so um <laughs> yeah, so anyways, bye. <laughs>